When I was invited on a fish collecting expedition to Gabon in western central Africa, I was excited. To me, every signpost in that country points towards a beautiful habitat. What we found when we got there, though, was even more fun than I expected. There were a lot of species that were not known to science. A lot of creatures that just haven't been defined yet. Now, the roads in Gabon are a bit of a roller coaster, a bumpy roller coaster. It's very hard to travel and you have to travel very slowly. This is a major highway. But these rough roads lead to calm habitats. Here, I thought we'd find lots of fish. However, we didn't. The water was too clear and the fish would have been too exposed to birds, major predators in the region. At the Susube River, we started to find a different habitat, and these were common. The water everywhere was in movement. Now, this habitat is a series of boulders with pools between them. As you work your way down, which is not the easiest thing because it's very, very slippery, you find the fish in the pools, uh, usually in groups. I wasn't the best fisherman on the planet. I only caught three here, but my friends did a lot better and they helped me out with a few extras. The fish look like nothing when you bring them out of the water. These are shots taken in the back of a truck. Um, they're stressed, they're largely colorless, but if you put them in the right light in the aquarium, you start to see something very, very unexpected. These are both the same group maybe not the same individuals, under different lighting. Now, as you're setting up the tank, you have to think about water movement. And you also have to think about diversity. The word lampies doesn't really say a lot. For example, here's a blue-eyed fish that we found in a small stream, not incredibly far away from the others. You can see it has a sword on the top of its tail fin. Here's the fish that's key in this video, a red-eyed version that has a standard shaped tail fin. So my goal is to have a lot of these fish. They look good in groups. I started with seven. Here's an egg. It's easy to pick off the mop if you have better hand-eye coordination than I do. You wet your fingers, you pick up the adhesive egg, you put it into a tray of water, shake it off because it'll stick to you and travel with you all day. In two weeks, you start to see this. You end up with lots of little platypachylus thriving in a rearing tank. Hopefully from these fish, we can have this fish spreading through the hobby. You have to start somewhere. Now, when I first got lampies, they were Norman's lampies. It's a common fish in the hobby now. When I got them, nobody had them. I had to look up what they were. They were mixers, contaminants, mistake shipments from Nigeria. And now look at them, they're everywhere. So I'm hoping that these platypachylus can also become that popular and that a lot of people who like shoaling fish, who like tetras will have a different option, something different to try. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for more videos about Gabon and also please subscribe to our site. Thank you.